Karuturi Sports will be out to record impressive results in their home game against the visiting Muhoron youth. The Flower Men will engage the travelers at Oserian Stadium as their home ground, famously known as Old Trafford, is under renovations. The Naivasha Base Club has failed to register a win after falling to Thika United at home to Rangers and a 1 1 draw with AFC Leopards. However, head coach Michael Nam hopes the team will overturn the poor results and end the season on a high note. We have taken the losses, the three losses, in a positive way, and uh, we are, that's given us the, how we can come up, we can work with the problems that we had been going through them. We have seen how we have been losing the, the, the matches, maybe in the last, uh, last minutes of the game, the final minutes of the matches, and we are trying to transform the players how to adjust to the pressure and also mentally so that they can always uh, bring back the winning trend that they, they used to have in the first leg. Moroni ni team, ni team, ni team mzuri, you know, na city mea kuzara, you know, na. Yani jine tu ni Moroni, lakini ni team yuko poa. Ni vijana wana jiweza, wana bidi, wana juwa mpira, you know, na. Saida bidi tutawa handle, vile, you know, game otuweza handle, tuna wa dharau. Jini kama team yuko Premier League, awezi dharau. Itabi 22 full loss, to jene aji itakuwa mwutakuwa aji. Injuries from our main, main, main stream of the, the first 11, hitting us about six of them. And they have been uh, advised not to come back immediately. They're not going to come back immediately until maybe next year. So that has, has been the main cause. But nevertheless, the players that we have are trying to come up themselves and please to maintain the performance that we are still looking for in the second leg. Muhoroni youth will be going for nothing than a win in order to maintain their league survival since earning promotion this year. In today's match, AFC Lopards battle defending champion Staska FC at Nyao National Stadium in a top of the turbo clash. Goromaya hope to maintain their winning mentality when they welcome Sony Sugar on Sunday, while Sofapaka have a tricky assignment against the Brewers next week. In the interim, Cricket Kenya is focused on its development that is aimed at grooming talents from a tender age. Cricket Kenya head of elites, Robin Brown, affirmed that the program targets the schools and clubs before competing in international tournaments. They've got a World Cup qualifier coming up as well shortly. Um, and I think the more cricket we play, the better we, better we can get and the more competition. Um, I'm happy to say that we've got the full support of the board with the development. I think that's part of their, their program is to make sure that development works. Um, and yeah, we've got all the support we've we need this they put more coaches in in place to help out with the development brown said that there have been security concerns over kenya playing against namibia in mombasa this month before a decision was arrived at by the international cricket council towards moving the venue to south africa for cricket series tests it's out of the control of the kenyan uh, of kenya cricket uh, it's out of the control of namibia cricket it's an icc um, decision they send a security team here um, to, to assess the situation and they've decided that the best place for us to play is, is out of Kenya. Through the Junior Development Cricket Initiative, Kenya will play against Tanzania, Ivory Coast, Nigeria, Uganda and Mozambique in December this year. As I said earlier, you need the equipment, you need bats and pads and balls and things like that. There are an, exp an expense. Um, you can't expect every school to, to have all the equipment. It's not going to happen. Um, so we just need to, to, uh, to do the best we can, try and encourage everyone to play. World Cup qualifiers for the under-19 team will be held next year. Uh, Mbaka Collins, GBS News.